Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this is for Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, something in this is for you. We have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Swords in Reverse, Temperance, and the Six of Swords in Reverse. I'll clarify those and then we'll get into what I mean. What they mean. So first we have the Seven of Cups and the World card in reverse. So this is primarily for you all who are in a long-term relationship. No matter what that commitment looks like, just a long-term relationship. Something that's been going on for a while, but it's definitely not over. Ten of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Three of Cups. You had suspicions for a while that maybe you are not the only one in this. That's what made me say, like, no matter what this commitment looks like. And Spirit is pretty much confirming that. That, yes, there are some, there's some third-party involvement in that. And for whatever reason, it's making you feel like the third wheel, even though you were one of the first people there. I think that's going to be your title. They're making you the third wheel. Temperance is clarified by the emperor. Spirit is saying pretty much keep your cool, be patient, stay balanced. It's not that this will take care of itself, but it's important that you approach this with a level head so that it doesn't completely blow up. Six of Swords in Reverse clarified by the Empress. Most of you will decide that this relationship is salvageable. That's why it's very important that you don't just speak out of anger if moving on is not exactly what you want to do. And there's no judgment there. Everybody can do what they want to. Cheating is not a deal breaker for everybody. It is for me, but it's not for everybody. Something from your spirit guides. And dates that might matter, April 4th, February 6th, March 26th, and March 31st. You got I Am Presence, Violet Flame, and Cosmic Emerald. These two are both about love, but in different ways. It's telling you to transmute all other energy into love. So any jealousy, fear, or anger, hurt, stuff like that that you're feeling about this situation do something like yoga or some type of ritual that's going to help you get it out of your body, but not direct it towards another person. Once you do this too, you'll see the benefits just within your physical body. Now that you're not holding so much anger and stress, you'll feel a lot better and you won't have so many energetic blockages. Things will just improve in general. And then this I am presence is about when you pray or you request some type of spiritual help, Know that it's coming for you immediately. Speak it in the affirmative and the present tense. Instead of I want to be healthy or I wish I was healthy, I am healthy. I'm grateful that I'm so healthy. My body is getting better and better every single day. Stuff like that. Be careful about the way that you word things. What are some actions you can take to get into alignment? Correct your mistakes and accept what is dying. So the only thing that makes someone cheat is the fact that they're a cheater, okay? Them cheating is not your fault. However, they are saying that you can correct some mistakes that you have in the relationship in general if you want to stay. Although they should have opened their mouths and spoke about what's wrong, they were cheating because they feel like their needs are not getting met with you. So just having that type of conversation and seeing what do you as a couple need to do different and understanding that because of this event, the relationship will look different from now on. It will look and feel different. We'll pull a cannabis oracle and then we'll get on out of here. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. It's super lemon haze and it says changes in the air. Don't stop the movement. Just decide on the direction. Decide what the future of this relationship is going to look like now that you know what you know. 
that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. All that jazz. It helps us all. Every time you engage with me on any of these social media platforms, it makes it more likely that the readings pertain to you. If you have questions about anything, though, or you just want a reading about whatever else, book one through the link in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.